Hi, it's Karen Chittister back with part three of our memory game uh, video series. And I'm starting out by adding um, a class for card to inherit from. And the class we want to inherit from is J button. And let me save this. And because it needs to be imported, it's going to be a red squiggly. And I want the Java X swing version. And then for image icon, I also want Java X swing. And that gets rid of my error messages. And then for image icon, the reason I'm getting this error message is because I didn't say new image icon and then enclose that in parentheses. And that should fix that error there. Okay, and so now that we have our our new image icon uh, created there. We're going to move back to one of our other classes. So let's save this. It gets rid of the X. And we're going to move back to the game frame. And I want to show you something kind of cool that you can do with these um, swing classes. And that is to open them with and let's see if it's in this edition of Java. If it's not, it's okay. We can still do cool stuff. Okay, it's not. So we'll we'll do a different way. Just a sec. Hi, it's Karen Chittister back with Karen Codes. And if you recall from our, well, if you've been looking, following this video series, this is the memory game videos. And as you can see, so far all we have is a J frame, which is the basic window. And then we have the content pane or or J panel but right now it's empty and we want to add to it some cards but there's some steps we need to take to do that and that's what we're going to cover in this video so I just was inside the memory game app in order to run it and show you that window but I'm switching over to the game frame class and within the game frame class we need to write a method called get content pane and we need to set the layout and this is where we can put a layout manager. And by default, all uh, JFrames uh, get set to flow layout. And flow layout basically means let's just put as much as we can fit across the screen, as many components as we can fit across the screen, and just so start wrapping them. And so you kind of get an uneven kind of layout. And we actually want for this program, if you recall from this diagram, we want a combination of layouts. We actually want a grid layout for the J buttons, the cards, and then we want a probably just a regular flow layout for the number of matches and the play again button. So that's kind of what we're after here. So within game frame, we need to add a couple of layout managers. And probably the easiest way to do that, well, okay, let's just start by adding one. We're just gonna do the grid right now, okay? And to do that, we're gonna say new grid layout. And this is actually easier to do if you're in Java SE, because you can open up Window Builder and see a GUI version of how to write this code. But that's okay because we can figure it out without it as well. It's just a little bit lengthier this way. Okay, so we have a new grid layout. And for that, I put pix.length. And it's like, what are you talking about? There's no array here called pix. Well, there is an array called pix, but it's inside the card class. And so in order to access the card class, we need to call the card class and create an instance of it. So we're gonna call card cards. And this may not be the best way to do it, but <clears throat> we're gonna give it a try. So we're gonna say cards. I might have to revise it as I go along, but that's okay. Um, Okay, for this to work, I need to, ah, 
Yeah, I don't really want to do it that way. Okay. We're going to do something a little bit different here. We're going with the constructor. I'm going to do a little experiment. So instead of this default constructor here, we're just going to ignore that for a minute. And we're going to right click. And we're going to say source. And we're going to say generate constructor using fields. And we want to use, yes, we want that card array. And we want the pictures. So we're going to say select all for right now. Okay. Super is referencing card, I believe. And if it's not referencing card, it's referencing J button. But we're not going to worry about what it references at the moment. We're just going to worry about getting this to display what it's supposed to display. And so we're going to do a get. Actually, let's generate the getters and setters just to be lazy here. Source. Generate getters and setters. And we're going to do... The card box is going to be the same no matter what. But we're going to get it anyway. Okay. I don't know if I want to get picks. I don't think I do, so I'm leaving that off. Okay. And then we're going to do a little two string so that we can see what is happening behind the scenes. So we're going to go source and we're going to say generate two string. And we want to see what the heck. We'll do everything right now to see what it does. And it should display down to here what is being stored where as we go along. Just to kind of help us visualize. Okay, so back here and to new card, there's an error in this class because I got rid of the cards.length. Okay, what we're gonna do instead of cards.length is we're gonna say card dot and we're gonna say get cards. We're calling that new method we just created. Dot length. Okay. Whoa. It doesn't like that. It cannot be resolved. Okay. I don't know if I have to say that. I, I do. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work now, the get length business. Okay, the last time I wrote this program, I actually put all the classes together. Like, not all the classes together, I shouldn't say that. I put the card class within my memory game app. And so I'm kind of doing this on the fly right now. So, I'm going to work through how to get this running and pause the video and then I'll be back. Okay, my preferred way of fixing this is to make it reference my um, card array from the card class. But because I need to think this through a little a little more and I'm, I'm trying to make this a little faster, I'm just going to hard code an 8 in there because I know that there's 8 cards that I want to have. Or 8 images. Oh, you know what? We're going to make it... Actually, we're going to make it how many? Let me, let's come over here and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Yes, there's eight. I don't know why it doesn't like eight, but this is what happens when you do it differently the second time. I have an extra parentheses, and it still doesn't like something. Um, oh, so now it says I don't have enough. Okay, now it likes it. All right, so we're set there. And let's just run this to see what we have. So in memory game app, I'm going to run. And it still shows as an empty window. And there's a reason for that. So I'm going to come to that reason in the next video. And in meanwhile, I'm going to play around behind the scenes and get it all ready for you. So uh, tune in for the next video. Thanks for watching.